The winds of change blow through our hair and leave us standing there, staring into the distance, expecting at any one moment that the gods of the circumstance will tell us why. In the meantime, here's a pantomime, a trivial tale with no intention but to entertain. But reality has a way to infiltrate fantasy with an allegorical intent, where nothing is what it seems in a world where dreams can so quickly turn to a nightmare. So with that in mind, the Miraculous Theatre Group would like to present Catharsis. There once lived a prince whose heart was cold. His parents had died when he was three years old. And because he'd never known to be loved, he became increasingly selfish and mean. And like a lonely forgotten king, he languished for a queen. And then one stormy night, to make matters even worse, his mean and cruel cold-heartedness resulted in a curse. What about 
something much better. A whole grilled sandwich with tomato and salad. Oops. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Here you go, there's another one. give you something. There you go. Do you have it? Do you have the, the pineapple? Make sure you have it. Take it, take it, take it. Quickly. Quickly, quickly have it.
that same town, there lived an Ebenezer, a merchant with three daughters, who'd fallen on hard times, it seems, by fan financing ships in dangerous waters. The two bread spread daughters were dumb and dull. The third shone like a ruby. In the treasure chest of worst and best, the jewel was a ubi chubi. Ebenezer's latest ship, called the Bitcoin, loaded with silver disguised as junk, had been robbed by a gang of pirates and ceremoniously sunk. His only hope now was insurance, a very dicey game that will employ every trick in the book to deny that he has a claim. But even so poor as he goes out the door since he has to go to the city, the bread spreads take quick advantage to let him know what they need and plead to be competitively pretty. The exception, of course, was Yubi Chubi. She loved her father so. She would never emburden his journey out into the blizzard and snow. What do you want now, Samsung? I gave you a style cut yesterday. Yesterday, I wanted to look like Elvis Presley. Yeah, but today, I want to look like him. Him? Justin Bieber? Yeah, but only <laughs> Voila! Justin Bieber, only better. Oh my God. You look so good. You look even better on this side. What is a word that can describe your beauty? You're spectacular. I know. But what do you think, Yui Chubi? It's a beautiful day, don't you think? Whatever. Hey, you're a chubby. Don't you think I'm handsome? <laughs> there's, there's only one man I have eyes for. What? Really? Who? My father. <laughs> oh, so you don't have a boyfriend. Samsung, I'm your girlfriend. We've been dating for like two years. We're in a committed relationship. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? Girlfriends come and girlfriends go! Father! You're just in time for your monthly haircut. <laughs> oh, Father. I love your fluffy hair, but you don't really need a haircut. Just a spit ends, please. Oh! 
Hello? <laughs> yes? This is Ebenezer. Yes? Yes? The Bitcoin is my ship? Yes? <laughs> Pirates? Sunk? Underwater? But I told you to beware of the Barbary Coast. There's pirates. <laughs> We've lost everything. Everything? Even the money? <laughs> Must go immediately to the city. What is it now? <clears throat> but I have no money to get there. I brought your mother gave you ten minutes before she died. <laughs> the only thing you have to remember her by. She made you swear and promise never to give this way this away. This is too valuable. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that that's the one. Just take it. She would have wanted you to have it. Oh, Daddy! Now that you have money, uh, can you get a present? <laughs> Sit down. I, I will do the best I can. <laughs> All right, I will take your necklace, but I will bring it back no matter what. Okay. And if they're getting a present, what about you? What can I get you? I need nothing. All I want is for you to come home safe to us. But, but it would make me happy to get you something. Please, let me get you something for me. Well, I guess if it's for you... I would like a pumpkin flower to put in the kombucha that you love so much. <laughs> Consider it done. If I return home empty-handed, the one thing I will definitely have is your pumpkin flower. Thank you. That's not necessary. Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I will return back to you. Bye, so, Ebenezer set forth, <coughs> burdened with his distress, like a solitary sailor in a sea of emptiness. So it's no surprise he lost his way. So confused was he, when suddenly he saw a spark in the dark that magically turned out to be a comic book copy of a castle with a dark air of mystery. There was a bell by the light, so he rang it, and the door was opened by Miguel the robotic butler, to whomever did their dwell.
the vampire. And I want to suck your blood! Ah. <laughs> what am I going to do? Oh, look, there's a light. I better go, go. I better go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> It was the castle of the hermetic Prince Harry Scary, the victim of the curse. And although it was a sentence he would dearly love to reverse. But after so long he'd been open to intrusion, so lonely had he become. So he beckoned Ebenezer to the table and gave him a glass of rum. By way of conversation with that peculiarly hairy man, Ebenezer mentioned his beautiful daughters, and the prince hatched a devious plan. You said not anybody in. <laughs> but Miguel, that was that was many a long time ago. Now I am lonely and I have nothing to do and I would talk to anyone. Oh, anyone. Anyone. <laughs> Go. Oh no, see as long as you want. I only have one. 
my condition. What? How many is that? You can't see all the flaws. Um, it's one condition. Oh, uh, sorry. What is it? Don't take anything without my permission from the castle or the garden. <laughs> Otherwise, the place is yours. Stay as long as you wish. Thank you. I'll stay the night, then I'll go first thing in the morning. What's the hurry? <laughs> because otherwise, I have three beautiful daughters at home who will worry about me. Three beautiful daughters and me all along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting tired. I'm going to bed. Miguel will show you your room. Uh, thank you. Next morning, as Ebenezer was leaving <clears throat> to return his to his daughter's three, he plucked a flower from the prince's garden to keep his promise to his darling Louis. The prince feigned anger and anguish and, and demanded he pay the price. On his return, he must decide which daughter he was prepared to sacrifice. The prince suddenly wasn't so friendly and Ebenezer felt himself shrink. To have to give up any one of his daughters was the last thing he'd like to think. Goodbye, Mr. Harry Scary. Thank you very much. Yes, I can find my way out. Thank you. What a nice man. So kind and friendly. And what a nice garden as well. What's that? A pumpkin flower. I should pick one for you, Ichubi. But the beast told me never to take anything without his permission. It's okay, he's very far away. He wouldn't want to be called just for this. It's a small pumpkin flower. He wouldn't mind. No! <laughs> Yon, come suck his blood! Ah! Oh, 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 nice. Anything but that. Anything? Anything. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, you said it. You'll have to send me one of your daughters to work here as my servant for as long as I want. But that's crazy. How can you ask that? No! 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 Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but, but now, go and send her back quickly, or I will have to take the necessary measures. But that will not be necessary. <laughs> When he put it to them on returning, the bread spread simultaneously said, no way, which the beautiful, dutiful Yui Chubi couldn't bring herself to say. Of course she would miss the father she loved, of that there was no doubt, but she had a brave sense of adventure that she had never been without, and when the next thing the bell she was ringing, determined to make a stand, that no matter what situation, she was Sure, she could get it in hand.
here. Well, how is the weather? What are you guys? Wait, 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 wait. I have some good news and some bad news. Which one would you like to hear first? The the bad. I think I'll tell you the good news. So the good news is. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you your pumpkin flower. Wow! It's the most beautiful pumpkin flower I've ever seen! I'll put it in the kombucha later. Where did you get it? That brings us to the bad news. Let me explain. So basically, I was trudging through the snow and as I lost his way blood sucked by you on the back. That's not happening. It was my fault, so it's my problem, so I'm going, as I told you, to go to get the, the flower, and so it's my fault, and it's my problem, and I'm going, end of discussion, but, bye, love you, father. Bye, you bye. This is terrible. 
I must go to the village to get help. I might even have to call that Samsung person, the rich, snobby, handsome, good-looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> was extremely friendly. The, no, the, the prince was extremely unfriendly at first to Yui Chuvi and treated her like a slave, something not to be acknowledged, until he tasted her cordon bleu cooking and realised that she'd actually been to college. His, his feelings for her slowly softened despite his arrogant nature and he found that his first impressions had been dismissively premature. And then he gradually noticed that his hair had stopped to grow. And still he was fully covered with it from his head down to his toe. It was then that Yui Chubi told him of her skill with a pair of shears, that if she would only just trust her, she would barber away his fears. <laughs> The 
Hearst has been left to Walt Disney <laughs> to embellish and extend so that the fate of these circumstantial lovers must come to a happy end.
No longer Harry Scary. Presenting Prince Harry! Oh, I'm a little bit of 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 a little b